you'll get started learning Supabase by creating a multi-platform app called Today. This app will be a simple task manager that will allow you to arrange your day's tasks. There will be three task screens, one for today's tasks, one for tasks that are done, and one for tasks that are done later. There will be another one for adding and removing categories. This will show you how to use the Supabase relational database for adding, deleting, updating, and showing tasks and categories. Before you even get to the task list, you need to be able to log in a specific user so that you only show the tasks for that user. You will use a login screen as well as an account creation screen to do this. By using Supabase's client package and hooking up the authentication code, you will learn how to use Supabase's authentication capabilities. Open up Android Studio. From the Welcome to Android screen, choose Open. Find the To Do app and choose Open. Once your project loads, you will see the different platform folders along with the Flutter live directory. We have Android, iOS, macOS, and web. Open up pubspec.yaml. The first package, Shared Preferences, is for storing small bits of data on the device. The JSON Annotation package is for creating JSON data from models. The Freeze package is for creating model classes that are immutable. Go Router is a great package for navigating pages. Flutter RiverPod is useful for being able to access our database. Now add the Supabase package after Flutter RiverPod by adding Supabase Flutter. Choose that one. And we're going to use version 0 0.3.1 plus 1. And we'll press pub get. Choose a platform, Android, iOS, macOS, or Windows, and run the app. You should see the login screen. Here we're going to choose the iPhone 13 simulator. And when we start it, you can see that we have the login screen. Before you can start coding, you'll need to sign up for a Supabase account and set everything up. 